Kar Halayim Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well over the flock. Shalom and salutation to you brothers out here that's pushing the words of truth and sincerity. And Shalom to all the Akim and the Akwa paying attention to elect the Israel, the hopeful elect. Shalom. All right, so going into um, the fact that the Most High is always ruling, He's all powerful, and we don't have to fear the nation that has or the heathens that have rule over us we don't have to fear two-thirds of our own people we don't have to fear the situation we're in there's not going to this is not going to be a long captivity this is not going to be generations and generations 400 more years of captivity under esau edom this is going to be quick and the lord is going to make a quick riddance with our enemies and adversaries esau edom we are the nation of israel we're the 12 tribes of israel you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans so-called And returning back to the Father These are some of the advantages Which is a hope of your salvation You have a vision, right? The prophets have spoken The prophecies are speaking, right? The vision is, 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 is speaking now And clearly you can see that we're caught up in the last days The latter the times Right before the Yahweh Shah returns And sets up an internal rulership Under the, uh, under, you know, righteousness and order so this is Deuteronomy 4 and 26. It says, I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day, that ye shall soon utterly perish from off the land whereunto ye go over Jordan to possess it. This happened, okay? This prophecy actually came to pass where we perish from the land that the Lord was going to send us to. All right. Obviously, for our wrongdoings, obviously, the Lord is just when he does these things to us. So we can never feel like we're playing a victim. No, the Lord victimizes Israel because we crossed the line period right you shall not prolong your days upon it but shall utterly be destroyed and the lord destroys us by casting us away out of our homeland and then having us scattered walking as vagabonds and and walking as uh uh you know the wanderers throughout the world man we become strangers now in distant lands uh serving idols and serving other nations this is a part of that judgment that the Most High cast down upon us uh, from the times of old um, to destroy, all right? To destroy, not utterly destroy, but to uh, con continually be in a situation in which we are being purged, being tried, being conflicted, being confounded, being subjected, all right, to other men's and other heathen nations' rule. All right, that is a situation in which you are in hell. There's no other way to put it. When you are, when your woman, uh, is 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 has a leg up over you you are subjection into another man because no in no situation shape or form would an israelite ever allow a woman to become to subject men under our rule no because the woman is over the man that's proof that we're under the vibration of another nation who would allow that catastrophe to even happen I digress Deuteronomy 4 and 27 and the Lord shall scatter you among the nations and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen so the Lord did that he scattered us look to your neighbors left and right look to the towns you're in look to your last names all right you are owned lock stock and barrel with your social security number talking about you independent and, and free you have no freedoms here all right 13th amendment made sure that if you ever go to jail you will never again have any type of freedom or luxury to do what you want to do. Matter of fact, if you go to try to go to different countries and states or cross certain lines and break laws, even you will understand that you are this far away from being just a, a, a complete slave and a prisoner in this country. All right. That's how the pit works. How the, that's how the system works. It doesn't work like that for them. It works like that for us. We are utterly destroyed here in Babylon. It says, and the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. And there shall ye shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see, nor hear, nor eat, nor smell. Yeah, that is a destructive way of life to serve a god, uh, a false idol that can't see, smell, taste, hear, speak back anything. But our people are so bugged out right here in this. In under the heathen vibration that you actually serving certain idols made of wood and stone carved out it's embarrassing man given how much how far we fell from from glory verse 29 but if thou thence thou but if from thence thou seek the lord thy power thou shalt find him so the the, the basically the the, the 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 entrance to salvation is seeking the lord matthews 10 and 33 um 
or 6 and 33 seek ye now the kingdom of heaven or things shall be added unto you right seek him now in the in the days of thy youth while the evil days draw not so it is supposed to seek him seek him 10 times more since it was your uh way to turn away from him when you turn back towards him seek him 10 times more the lord wants to be sought after all right you have to he's a jealous power you have to make the father yahweh know that he is the only one he is the alpha and omega he is the only power right there's a song you're the only power that's it man you got to show yahweh bashmi outside that the father is the only power and the only way to get through to the highest power is to get through the power yahweh shah all right if thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul so you can't just put half into it you can't be half ain't no half stepping you got to go full and forward forward march onward march towards the glory in which yahweh shah can deliver us right it said you shall find him so you have to search for him and the way you search is through your understanding you start with a lack of understanding you come to men that are teaching to give you an understanding um apostles of great millstone is who we all came through to have this sound doctrine not the doctrine of christianity and the dogmas of roman catholic church where there's hell where you burn forever in a fire pit but we have a perfect understanding that death is a transition from uh one body to another in which heaven is a place uh that consists on earth either or it is actually the celestial world and the realm in which the father and yahweh Shah exists currently all right where all um spirits go after death right and it's paradise up there that's why the father said um so so as earth as it is in heaven is part of the prayer because the kingdom of heaven will be on earth and earth will be in like a heaven like state as heaven is orderly perfect and upright i digress let's go on verse 30 when thou art in tribulation and all these things are come upon thee what things the curses the things that utterly destroy us being amongst the heathen and worshiping idols those are the things that the lord said if you will serve me when all these things come to you and will you will in in the midst of all your tribulations still have a desire to come towards me and to turn to me then if thou turn to the lord thy power and shall be obedient unto his voice so the lord requires an obedience factor all right which we're doing right now and calling upon the Lord and asking him for forgiveness and repenting to him. Verse 31, for the Lord thy power is a merciful power. He will not forsake thee. So you know that about our power, man. He doesn't forsake his men. He doesn't forsake his heritage. All right. The, when you read the scriptures and learn about the father, you learn that the father really loves and, and he's merciful towards and long suffering towards his elect. And he wants to see men uh, redeemed and, and delivered. That's why he sent his son. For Yahweh so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever shall believe on him shall have everlasting life. So we understand the agape, unconditional love that the Father has for us. And guess what? He showed us that love first. It wasn't us that showed love first. It was the Father by sending his son. So now we can know, understand the type of love that consists within the body of Yahweh Shah. It says he will not forsake thee, neither will destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers, which he swear unto them. So turning back to the Lord is really the enrichment that is written in the scriptures. It's all about turning back to the Lord, being converted, which is the word convert means to turn back, to turn with, to turn into, to turn back and be healed. The scriptures say, all right. And verse 32 says, For as now of the days that are past, which were before thee, since the day that Yahweh created man upon the earth, and ask from the one side of heaven unto the other, whether there be there hath been any such thing as this great thing is, or hath been heard like it. Yeah, you, you can go as far as you want to go. You can go back to the annals of all type of different uh, uh histories and um stories out there you will not hear about a creator that cared so much about his people that all they had to do in time of tribulation would seek him and he would protect them he would heal them he wouldn't destroy them he won't ever forsake us and he swear it unto our fathers you can't find that story you can't find that love story anywhere else in the world and the nations know it 
Verse 33, did ever people hear the voice of Yahweh speaking out of the midst of the fire as thou hast heard and live? Right? So the Mosai, when he's he's a terrible demon-like power, Alishajah is what the nations call him. Okay? And but the Mosai, that's terrible demon-like power, is a rest for us, is a haven for us, is a vengeance, a vengeful power for us. All right, it's long suffering to us word. So we have to come into understanding that even though the most high is a very terrible power, meaning he brings terror, he causes terror, he killeth and make it alive. We understand and acknowledge that. We also understand the mercy and the grace of the Heavenly Father. Okay, we once again understand that through what he did with his son, sent him as a propitiation for our sins, his very son. All right, as as he as he was foreshadowed by being uh isaac all right which abraham began uh began and attempted to slaughter um as a sacrifice for yahweh showing he was faithful and isaac being um yahweh shah um, in the resurrection let's continue deuteronomy 4 or yahweh shah being isaac rather deuteronomy 4 and 34 or hath yahweh essayed to go and take him a nation from the midst of another nation by temptations by signs by wonders and by a war yeah which nation did the lord deliver by all of these ways and these things as he did for us israelites none other it says and by a mighty hand and by a stretched out arm and by great terror so understand the mighty hand of the lord the stretched out arm of the lord these are the ways in which the Lord delivered us out of Egypt. How do we know that? Reading on, it says, And by great terrors, according to all that the Lord your power did for you in Egypt before your eyes. So we just came out of Passover. We understand that the Passover symbolizes when the spirit, the Yahweh Shah, as an angel, basically came and, and slaughtered the firstborn children, cattle of all um, sons, basically the firstborn of all sons in Egypt, declaring that um his he magnified and he stretched out his hand and by great terrors will he deliver us out of this nation by any means necessary right and he did that through 10 plagues and so we are very familiar all right we just have to re-familiarize ourselves with the ways in which the lord has cared for israel stretched out his arm for us all right which is a figurative term for being endearing, showing your love and your gratitude and delivering, saving someone. With a stretched out arm, you reach to grab somebody's hand to pull them back to safety, as the Lord has did to us countless times through countless generations and countless times he will do it again if we turn back to him, which we will, very few of us elect, a remnant, a small portion of us will in these last days in the midst of all the tribulation that the rest of us is catching we will seek the lord and he will uh turn back to us all right receive us unto thee verse 35 unto thee who was showed that thou mightest know that the lord he is yahweh he is god he is a power there is none else beside him out of heaven he had made thee to hear his voice that he might instruct thee yeah the lord spake directly to israel man all right through the midst of the fire and we did live as the scripture says and he instructed us how because he gave us law statutes and commandments which we are to follow and adhere to to the best of our abilities even under captivity we still try to keep the passover and rehearse the righteous acts because it's a pleasing to the heavenly father and upon the earth he showed thee his great fire and thou heardest his words out of the midst of the fire and because he loved our fathers because he chose their seed after them and hath and brought thee out. So like here. Yup. So it says, and brought thee out of his sight with his mighty power out of Egypt. Never gonna forget what the Lord did for us in Egypt. He took us directly out of the hands of an enemy nation who had complete rigor over our souls and control over us. And he did that through signs and terrors, man. Magnifying his name amongst his ch children israel that's how he magnifies his name man he loves and cares about us that much that we are attached to his name y'all it's a serious thing that's why you can't never speak the name the name of the lord in vain our our livelihood is attached to it. it says to drive out nations from before thee greater and mightier than thou art to bring thee in to give thee 
their land for an inheritance as it is this day so we don't have to worry and be troubled about how great america and esau is and his technology and we'll never get a foot up and they're always over us and we might as well bow out that spirit of defeat all right that spirit of go along to get along that spirit of just defeat is done with it's over with when you read and and acknowledge and and your spirit is activated with hope um that that grace abounds in you and it grants you a desire and an understanding that no matter what adversities and disadvantages you might your enemy you know you have come in comparison to your enemy Esau Edom the Lord is still providing a way as he did in the uh, during the exodus to deliver us out of here do it son Verse 39 Know therefore this day and consider it in thine heart That the Lord, yet he is Yahweh in heaven above and upon the earth Beneath there is none else beside him Okay So we understand perfectly what the Lord is doing here He's setting up Esau for the okie doke Alright, the rope of dope He's about to leave him to fall in his own pit that he dug He's about to fully deceive Esau Because Esau is a, a unnatural man he's a carnal man he's a undesirable he's a persona non grata man he's a nasty uh inhumane uh character uh antagonist of the biblical storyline that revolves around yahweh and his chosen people israel man verse 40 thou shalt keep therefore his statutes and his commandments which i command thee this day that it may go well with thee and with the children after thee that thou mayest go prolong thou they mayest prolong thy days upon the earth which the lord thy power giveth thee forever these are the things that our people understood we knew we recited we believed wholeheartedly we were not troubled as some men uh, are because they do not have the spirit of belief and the spirit of faith which the Most High grants his children Israel, all right? And this is why we continue to keep the Sabbath con uh, day holy as to the best of our ability, all right? We continue to honor uh, our father and our mothers. We continue to sow seeds of righteousness, all right? Um, we continue to give double honors to our apostles and elders, all right? We continue to not render evil for evil, all right? Because the Lord, our power, uh, reigns from on high and it is in his mind to deliver us out of all temptations and out of the hands of our enemies he saw Edom in these last days which was steadily 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 coming upon this is ne Nehemiah 9 and 31 it says here nevertheless for thy great mercy's sake thou didst not utterly consume them nor forsake them for thou art a gracious and merciful power now therefore our power the great the mighty and the terrible power who keepest covenant and mercy let not all the troubles trouble seem little before thee that hath come upon us on our kings and on our princes and on our priests and on our prophets and on our fathers and on all thy people since the time of the kings of Assyria unto this day and you got to remember history you go back into the, the uh, Daniel's dream Daniel's vision and you'll hear about the Assyrian uh, the Syrians that was the first beast who was like a unto a lion with eagles wings attached to him and the eagles wings plucked off and stood up upon their feet and became a man this is the Assyrian uh, 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 kingdom that is spoken about here in Nehemiah, where, the, where Nehemiah is basically confessing in the midst of a uh, um, time of persecution under the Assyrian captivity, right? That the Lord is still promising to keep the covenant and the mercy that He gave to us. Yeah, He's great, terrible, and He will deliver ultimately in His promises. So we don't have to become fearful as our fathers understood perfectly that the most high is able he's able that's what you always got to know be reminded of is that he's able this is psalms uh, psalm, psalm 62 and 12 it says <clears throat> also unto thee o lord belongeth mercy 
Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy, for thou renderest to every man according to his works. So we can bet on that. It doesn't matter how much somebody has, how cool somebody looks, how much potential they have, or whatever it is that people get caught up and lost into these days. With the lost tribes of Israel, you cannot listen to every Jake because he's an Israelite. You have to understand and that he doesn't even understand the milk of the scriptures yet right you can't even consider him a babe because he's not even desiring sincere milk a lot of our people are still carnal all right they're they're not they're, they're the nat they're natural men they can't understand spiritual things so you have to really uh have your guards up your spiritual uh hater blockers up or rather your spiritual you you know they live goggles to see where what it is a man's talking about what where is he even coming from why he's speaking this way sometimes jake just speaks out of depression sometimes jake speaks out of the deceit of their own heart their own their own conceit their own deceit they're deceived sometimes jake speaks as if the vibration of esau is coming out of him man but very you know sometimes jake is speaking and expressing a lack of hope and a misunderstanding and a misdirection all right and that's all because we're in captivity this place has utterly polluted us and so for you to actually understand what the scriptures are saying in these end times and not just feel all warm and fuzzy inside because you belong to a big mega church well you're in the right space man you're under the uh the the proper you're in the proper uh, sanctuary of the lord right the lord is hiding you in his sanctuary in his place where you can benefit from where you can learn and receive the true spirit be how by Shmiel Shah in these end days and hopefully become converted and healed and delivered on judgment day. Psalms 107, verse 1. The title is The Lord Delivers Men from Manifold Troubles. Now, how hopeful of a message is that? You want to be delivered in these end times. That's why we speak on these prophecies about thermonuclear destruction and all these things because we expect deliverance and nothing less. Psalms 107 and 1. O Yahweh Salakia. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed, meaning the purchased possession, Israelites, the elect, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gathered them out of the lands from the east and the west and the north and the south. They wandered in the wilderness in the solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. And he delivered them out of their distresses. And he led them forth by the right way. That they might go to a city of habitation. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness. And for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfieth the longing soul. Your longing soul is a soul that's desiring something. You're desiring to get out of Babylon. You're desiring to be free. You're desiring to be great again. Make Israel great again. And filleth the hungry with goodness. Such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. Being bound in affliction and iron. Because they rebelled against the words of Yahweh. And condemned. Contemned. The counsel of the Most High. Yeah, at one point in time, your rebellion equal to your hatred for the counsel of the Lord. And so a lot of our people is hopeless because they think the Lord won't have mercy. But look what we did to them. They feel guilty to a point where their sins are weighing them down now. And they don't even think they it's possible to return and be converted or be uh, uh, protected in the day of wrath. So they don't they, they, they err not knowing the scriptures in the Lord's mercy. Therefore, he brought down their heart with labor they fell down and there was none to help they cried unto the lord in their trouble and he saved them out of their distresses that's the points you cry unto the lord he will deliver you that's what we acknowledge and that's what we are bringing back men to acknowledge he brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and break their bands asunder with our bands our forms of captivity all right everything that's got you stuck right everything that's got you stuck in a rut 
Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he hath broken the brass and cut the bars of iron asun in sunder. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it there. There's plenty more in that um, uh, uh, book, but I'm going to leave it there. Call Halal Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah Ba'ashem Rakak Wadash. Until next time, Shalom.